Shopping. Peppa and George are going shopping. <laughs> Peppa and George like shopping. George loves sitting in the trolley. <laughs> so does Peppa. Daddy, can I sit in the trolley too? <laughs> You're too big for the trolley, Peppa. <laughs> but you can help with the shopping. Oh, goody! <laughs> We've got four things on the list. Tomatoes, spaghetti, onions and fruit. I'll find it all. <laughs> <laughs> this way. Pepper and George love shopping. <laughs> Pepper, first we need tomatoes. Hmm. I can see them, I can see them. Here are the tomatoes, Mummy. Well done, Pepper. One, two, three, four. Now, put them in the trolley. I found the tomatoes. Well done, Pepper. Tomatoes. That's one thing off the list. What's next on the list? Spaghetti. Pigetti. That's right, George, but it's called spaghetti. Pigetti. Spaghetti is Pepper and George's favourite food. I wonder where the spaghetti is. I can see it. This way. Spaghetti. Look, Mummy, here's the spaghetti. Well done, Pepper. Let's put the spaghetti in the trolley. Yes, Mummy. Spaghetti. <laughs> George, it's called spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> What's next on the list, Pepper? Crisps. Crisps are not on the list. We have plenty of crisps at home, Pepper. Have another guess. Hmm. I just can't remember. Can you remember, George? Dinosaur. Dinosaur? George. There aren't any dinosaurs in the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> no, George. The next thing on the list is onions. Onions. I remember now. Here they are. <laughs> well done. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Onions. Very good. That's nearly everything on our list. There's one last thing on the list. <laughs> A plant? Is that on the list? Oh, no, George. The last thing on the list is fruit. Oh. Never mind, George. You can choose the fruit. <laughs> Where is the fruit? Over there. <laughs> there are apples and oranges and bananas and a very big melon. What fruit shall we have, George? Apples? Oranges? Bananas? <laughs> a melon! <laughs> 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 This is the checkout, where all the food is paid for. Tomatoes, spaghetti, onions, melon, chocolate cake. Chocolate cake? Chocolate cake? Is that on the list? Pepper, did you put the chocolate cake in the trolley? No, Mummy. George, did you put the chocolate cake in the trolley? No. Well, I didn't put it in. Then who did? Um, I thought it might be nice for pudding. Daddy Pig. <laughs> Naughty Daddy. Sorry, it just looked so delicious. It does look rather yummy. Oh, let's pretend it was on the list. Chocolate cake! Hooray! <laughs> 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 Very well. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have just made breakfast for Pepper and George. Breakfast is ready! <laughs> Pepper has red spots on her face. Mummy, I don't feel very well. Oh dear, Pepper, you don't look very well. 
Don't worry, I'll ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Pepper is not very well. Her face is covered in red spots. Hmm. Put Pepper to bed, and I'll come straight round. Dr. Brown Bear has come to make Pepper better. Hello, Pepper. How are you today? I'm not very well. Stick your tongue out, please. Hmm. It's not anything serious. Pepper has just got a rash. Do I need medicine? The rash will clear up quickly, but if you like, I can give you just a little medicine. Yes, please. I'm afraid it doesn't taste very nice. Open wide, please. Eww! Disgusting! You are a brave little one for taking it so well. Pepper must stay in bed. I'll call back later to check that she's better. Can Pepper have visitors? Oh, yes, she can have visitors. The rash isn't catching. Goodbye. Goodbye, Dr. Brown Bear. Bobby, can I get up now? Dr. Brown Bear says that you must stay in bed for a little bit, Pepper. Oh, but it's so boring. Dr. Brown Bear did say you could have visitors. Can Susie Sheep visit me? Susie Sheep is Pepper's mm. best friend. I'll ring Susie Sheep's mummy. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Pig. <coughs> May Pepper talk with Susie, please? <coughs> Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. I'm not very well. I have red spots on my face. Has the doctor been? Yes, Dr. Brown Bear was here. He said I wasn't very well and that I was very brave. So are you really ill? Yes, yes. It's not pretend. I have to stay in bed. <coughs> Dr. Brown Bear gave me medicine that tasted really horrible. I'm coming to see you. <laughs> I'm going to wear my nurse's outfit. Susie Sheep has come to see Pepper. Susie is wearing her nurse's costume. <laughs> Danny Dog and Rebecca Rabbit have come along too. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Pepper. Pepper. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? I'm not very well, Susie. I have to stay in bed. What can we do to make you better? <coughs> you could get me some orange juice. OK. <laughs> Pepper seems to be quite enjoying herself. <laughs> Thank you, Susie. Do you feel any better? A little bit. <coughs> Danny? Well, Ask my mummy if I could have some ice cream. And Rebecca? Could you bring me some flowers from the garden? Dr. Brown Bear is here to see if Pepper is better. Ah, good. The nurse is already here. How is the patient? Uh, I'm not a real nurse. It's just pretend. I see. Would you like me to take a look myself? Yes, please. I say, no more red spots. You're completely better. Aren't I still a bit ill? How do you feel? I think I should stay in bed a little bit more. Hmm. I fancy a game with this ball in the garden. Who wants to join me? Me, me, me. <laughs> me too. <laughs> well, I never. A complete recovery. <laughs> 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 Pepper and her family are going camping. I love camping. We're here. <laughs> Pepper, George, this is the tent I had when I was a little boy. Daddy, how are you going to make that into a tent? Don't worry, Pepper. I'm an expert at camping. Mummy Pig, put the tent on the poles, please. That's it. Easy as pie. Ooh. Do these pegs do anything? Of course. I forgot about the pegs. The pegs hold the tent up. There. The tent is a bit little. It was big enough for me when I was a boy. But it does look a bit small now. 
That's because you've grown a bit since you were a boy, Daddy Pig. And your tummy has grown the most of all. <laughs> oh, talking of tummies, we should cook supper. Yes, <laughs> yes. First, we have to collect sticks to make a fire. Yippee! <laughs> Pepper and George are helping Daddy Pig collect sticks for the campfire. George, I'll pick up the sticks and you can carry them. <laughs> Collecting sticks is fun. <laughs> Good. That's enough sticks. That's a splendid campfire. Now I'll light it. Here are the matches. Oh, oh we don't need matches. Daddy, how can you light it without matches? I'm going to make fire the old way by simply rubbing these two sticks together. Daddy Pig is rubbing the two sticks together to light the campfire. Where is the fire, Daddy? Nearly there. Hooray! Oh, easy as pie. <laughs> <laughs> now we can heat up the tomato soup. Ah, listen to the sounds of nature. What is that sound? That is the sound of crickets chirping. What is that? That's an owl. Look, there it is. Wow! And what's that noise? Oh, I'm not sure. It's Daddy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> My tummy rumbling is one of the best sounds of nature. It means it's time to eat. I love tomato soup. So do I. <laughs> Oh, there's another one of Daddy Pig's sounds of nature. Uh, eh? What? <laughs> Come on, children, into the tent. It's bedtime. We won't all fit in. The tent is too little. It will be fine. In you go. Move further in, Mummy Pig. Daddy, you're too big for the tent. Never mind. I'd rather sleep outside anyway. Good night, Daddy Pig. Good night, Daddy. Night, night. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper and George are sleeping in the tent. Daddy Pig is sleeping outside, under the stars. Ah, I love camping. Sleeping in the open air with the stars above me. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. <laughs> <laughs> it is morning. Daddy? It was lovely and cosy in the tent. Oh, where's Daddy? Daddy Pig has gone. Poor Daddy Pig. He must have been cold and wet. And now where is he? What's that sound? It sounds like snoring. <laughs> Daddy Pig! What? Daddy, you're safe! <laughs> of course I'm safe. I'm an expert at camping. I slept in the car. <laughs> Silly Daddy. <laughs> I love camping. <laughs> sports Day. Today is the school sports day. Peppa and her friends are all here. The first event is running. <laughs> the children have to run as fast as they can. I think I will win. I can run very fast. <laughs> I'm faster than you. Ready, steady, go! I can run at 100 miles an hour. I can run at a million miles an hour. Peppa, Susie, stop talking and run! Oh! Rebecca Rabbit is in the lead. Oh dear, Pepper and Susie are right at the back. Come on, Pepper! Come on, Daddy! Rebecca Rabbit wins. <laughs> and Pepper and Susie are last. The winner of the race is Rebecca Rabbit. Hooray! Squeak! Thank you. <laughs> I would have won if you hadn't been talking to me, Susie. Now, now, Pepper. Remember, it's not winning that matters, but taking part. Yes, Daddy. 
The next event is the long jump. <laughs> George and Richard have to see who can jump the furthest. George, run as fast as you can, then jump as far as you can. <laughs> George, ready, steady, go! <laughs> George has jumped as far as he can. And now it's Richard Rabbit's turn. If Richard doesn't run, he won't jump very far. Richard Rabbit, ready, steady, go. <laughs> Richard Rabbit has jumped further than George. And the winner is Richard Rabbit. Hooray! <laughs> George, remember, it's not the winning that matters, but taking part. <laughs> the next race is the relay. Each child needs to pick a parent to race with. Peppa, pick me! Pick me! But, Daddy, you're not very good at running. <laughs> I was very good when I was a little piggy. But now you have a big tummy. But I can still touch my toes. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> All right, Daddy, but you must run very fast. <laughs> the mummies and daddies will run the first part of the race and then hand the batons to the children. Mummies and daddies, ready, steady, go! <laughs> run, Daddy! Daddy Pig is in the lead. Come on, Daddy! Come on, Daddy! Thank you, Daddy. You did very well. Now it's my turn to Pepper, take... stop talking and run! Oh! <laughs> Keep on running! Keep running! Keep running! Go on! And the winner is Emily Elephant. Hooray! <laughs> oh, Daddy, I haven't won a prize yet. Don't worry, Pepper. There's still one more event. And now for the last event of the day, the tug of war. Boys against girls. <laughs> when I say go, you must pull the rope with all your strength. The girls will win. <laughs> no, they won't. The boys will win. Ready, steady, go. Come on, boys. Come on, pull. Everyone is pulling so hard, the rope is breaking. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and the result is a draw. So both teams win. Hooray! I love the school sports day, especially when I win a prize. Peppa and George are playing at Granny and Grandpa's house today. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Papa Egg. Ho oh, ho! Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Where's Granny Pig? Hello, my little ones. That is Granny Pig's voice. But where is she? Granny Pig? <laughs> Here I am. Granny Pig! Gangy Egg! Why is Granny in the roof? We're tidying the attic. What's the attic? It's where we keep all our old things. Like you, Grandpa Pig. Ha ha! Things that are even older than me. <laughs> Can we help? <laughs> OK. <laughs> <laughs> Granny and Grandpa's attic is at the very top of the house. That's the door to the attic. How do we get up there? I have a clever trick. Hello, my little ones. It's Granny. Come on up. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is our attic. Wow. It's very full. Yes, it's full of old junk. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are here to help us throw some things out. Good. Let's start by throwing out this box. Oh, not that box. Do we really need this? That's my ship in a bottle. And this? 
That's my other ship in a bottle. And these? They're my other ships in bottles. I need them all. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to throw something out. Uh, how about this box? No, not my hats. <laughs> oh dear, we can't decide what to throw out. I know. We'll let Pepper and George decide. OK. <laughs> Let's throw away this old case. Oh, oh not, not that, that one. one. This isn't just any old case. It's a record player. Ooh. And this was our favourite record. Can we play it? Yes. Oh, oh, we haven't heard it for years. Oh, this takes me back. <laughs> Come on, Pepper and George. Let's dance. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig is here to pick up Pepper and George. Hello. Where are you? Mummy Pig can't find anyone. What's that noise? <laughs> Mummy! Hello. We've been dancing to Granny and Grandpa's favourite record. Yes. Granny and Grandpa played it all the time. Ooh. And here's the record I used to play when I was a little piggy. What is it? It's called Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. Not Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. You were always playing that. I thought we'd thrown that out ages ago. Ah. The birds go woof and the dogs go tweet. Woof tweet, woof tweet, woof woof woof. <laughs> the sheep go moo and the cows go ba. Moo ba, woof tweet, woof ba, moo tweet, woof woof woof. <laughs> again, again. Ah. The birds go woof, woof and the dogs go tweet. tweet. Woof tweet, woof tweet, woof woof woof. The sheep go moo and the cows go ba. Moo ba, woof tweet, woof ba, moo tweet, woof woof woof. That was fun, but we were supposed to be finding some things to throw out. Peppa, what should we throw out and what should we keep? Hmm. I think you should keep everything. <laughs> Pedro's cough. It is a school day. Peppa and her friends are having a music lesson. Ooh, Miss Polly had a doll. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Madame Gazelle. <coughs> oh dear. Pedro has a cough. Not to worry. I'll ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Hello, Doctor. This is Madame Gazelle. A child is ill. Don't panic. I'll come straight away. <laughs> what seems to be the problem? What a cough. <coughs> I see. Is it a tickly cough or a chesty cough? Um, I don't know, but it goes like this. Hmm. <coughs> and when did you get this cough? When Madame Gazelle started singing. It's nothing serious, but Pedro's cough may be catching. What do you mean, catching? When one person has a cough, Sometimes other people get that cough, too. Do I need medicine? Just a little spoonful. I'm afraid it doesn't taste very nice. <laughs> it tastes like an old shoe full of jam. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. Goodbye. Bye. <coughs> As I thought, Pedro's cough is catching. Danny Dog and Susie Sheep have caught Pedro's cough. <coughs> Open wide. Ew! It tastes of carpet-flavoured yoghurt. It tastes of flowers. Well done for taking your medicine so well. Do you ever get ill, Dr 
Dr Brown Bear? No, Peppa, I'm never ill. I eat an apple a day. Goodbye. Bye. It is home time and the children's parents are here to pick them up. Mummy, Daddy, I've got a cough. <coughs> <coughs> Dr Brown Bear came and looked after us. He gave us horrible medicine. Madam Gazelle, can you sing your song now? Of course, Peppa. Ooh, Miss Polly had a dolly who was... <coughs> 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 oh, dear. All the grown-ups have caught Pedro's cough. Dr Brown Bear speaking. This is Peppa Pig. <sniffs> All the grown-ups are ill. Not to worry, Peppa. I'm on my way. <coughs> <coughs> Hello, everyone. Caught Pedro's cough, have we? <coughs> <coughs> Very well. Stand in line and open wide. Ew. <coughs> 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 oh. Oh, it tastes like custard and old socks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for looking after us, Dr Brown Bear. Who looks after you when you're ill? No one looks after me. I'm never ill. <coughs> <coughs> oh, dear. Dr Brown Bear has caught Pedro's cough. Not to worry. <coughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Poor Dr Brown Bear. He's ill, and there's no one to look after him. Oh! <coughs> Who can that be? Hello. We've come to look after you. Here's some fruit. <laughs> and some cushions. And here is your medicine. Yeah. It tastes like... Jammy yoghurt flavoured custard socks! <laughs> <laughs> and here's a song to make you feel better. Delphine Donkey. Hello, Daddy Pig speaking. Monsieur Pig, come on, Tallyvoo. Oh. Something's wrong with the phone. You see? The phone's talking nonsense. Hello, comment allez-vous? Hello, monsieur. Est-ce que Delphine peut rester pour un jour? Oui. Elle vient juste de prendre le train. Au revoir. That was Monsieur Donkey. He was speaking French. Ah, I thought as much. Mummy, what did Monsieur Donkey say? He asked if little Delphine Donkey could visit us. Oh, goody. Delphine Donkey is Peppa's very special friend from France. Delphine's coming to practice talking English with us. Hooray! We'd better hurry. Delphine's train is arriving any minute. Last stop. All change. That's Delphine's train. <laughs> Delphine. Bonjour. Bonjour means hello in French. Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bonjour. Bonjour, Mr Donkey. My goodness, is that huge case for Delphine? Yes, Delphine has brought a few little things for her visit. Things you do not have over here. Cheese, bread, tomatoes, water. <laughs> oh. Au revoir, Delphine. I will be back to pick you up tomorrow night. Where shall I put Delphine's luggage? In my room, at the very top of the house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And this luggage is for one night stay? Oh, yes. That is why I only pack a little bag. Oh. Now, Delphine is here to practice talking English, so we must all help her. Yes, Mummy. <coughs> First, I must say sorry. I do not speak English very well. You don't speak too badly. You are very kind, Monsieur Pig. But may I ask you a question about talking English? Of course. <laughs> I'm an expert at talking. Ask away. Are English split infinitives a form of irregular verb or past pronoun? Uh... Actually, it's quite late. Shall we set up Delphine's bed? Mummy! Mummy! Can Delphine sleep in my bed with a pillow at each end? Good 
idea, Pepper. Pepper and Delphine are sleeping at each end of the same bed. <laughs> now, children, try to go to sleep. You've got a busy day tomorrow. Delphine is visiting your playgroup. Wow! Dormez bien. Dormez bien is French for sleep well. I'm not sleepy at all. <laughs> Let's sing a little song to make us sleepy. Yes! Eh -oh. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous, sonnez le matin. Delphine's pretty French song has sent everyone to sleep. Ding, dang, dang. Delphine has come to visit Peppa's playgroup. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, this is my French friend, Delphine Donkey. Bonjour. Ah, bonjour, Delphine. Delphine sang a pretty French song last night. Can we teach her an English song? How about the Bing Bong song? Yes, sing me this Bing Bong song. It would be good for my English. OK. Ooh. We're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Lots of new English words. Bing, bong, bingly, bangly, boo! <laughs> <laughs>